All right. Welcome everyone to Quickie Tips and Tools with Nikki Kane. And who we are. Um, Dave's been doing web design since the 90s, starting Finet Solutions in 2000, and I joined in 2008. As online business consultants, we understand the pitfalls and challenges most people face in traditional business, e commerce, dropshipping, affiliate marketing, and MLM. Oh, sorry. We know what it needs to be done to be successful. Some of the um, be um, best lessons we learnt were learnt by doing things the wrong way. Our aim with these quickies is to share tips and tools we've learnt so you don't waste time, um, money and headaches and, and reduce headaches. So everyone get ready with a pen and paper. All right, so we'll start off with our next quickies is on Monday the 25th of um, May at 10 a.m. That's Australian time and that's 8 p.m. Sunday the 24th of May for the USA. Um, Eastern, what does D stand for? Anyway. <laughs> um, daylight. Eastern Daylight Time, anyway. Okay, well, yep. It, it's the same time next week, that's what you need to say. Cool. All right, um, and it's the same meeting details as this week. And our next uh, quickie topic is 14 ways to help business cope with a recession. And our guest presenter is Warren Tapp from Tapp Advisory Business Profits Made Easy. And that's his website right there. All right, and then in the following quickies, we'll be covering how to pivot your business to thrive, simple Google first um, page ranking strategies, tips to get more leads and uh, I think it's supposed to be conversion from your website. Um, how to set your business up for a profitable exit. Easy content writing tips and tools. Effective deal effectively dealing with people, customers and staff. And then tips to increase engagement and conversions. And what we'll cover today, we just did our welcome. So, and the guest presenter is me. And I'm an online business consultant. And today's topic is costly social media mistakes to avoid. And then we'll do a QA and a and then we'll do the bonuses, a free landing pages, um, sales training course, and a bit more. All right, so we want to check in on Facebook because this will promote um, you and your brand because you're sharing with others that you're constantly training yourself. Uh, and the QR code you can just use, um, open up with your camera on your phone. All right. I'll just admit the person in. All right. Continuing on. Um, uh, this um, etiquette for today. Uh, please limit the time you use in the chat box. Um, please raise your hand to ask questions. That can be done as you just raised your hand in your face in the camera or doing it the electronic way. Um, help make us feel loved. Please um, keep leave your cameras on and leave feedback like doing a thumbs up and clapping. All right, and these are the, how you can do it on your desktop and your iPad. You've got your mute, your start video, um, and you've got your chat, and you've got, um, you raise your hand. All right, Zoom tip for today. If you, um, if you drop off, you can rejoin by using the same link that you used to um, log in originally. And if you haven't, if you require a password, the password is here. All right, disclaimer. The information we're going to share with you is useless unless you take personal action on this information. All right, we'll start the presentation. 
um, costly social media mistakes. And this is not in any particular order. There's just, and I could have done a presentation twice long. All right, having social media icons and links too high up on your website, like it's above the header. If you're going to have them, put them in your footer. If you want to use your social media profiles for brand awareness and get people on your um, website, do not encourage people to leave your website as they will get distracted on Facebook, etc., and they'll probably never come back. You must, um, not having a social media posting calendar to work by is not very good because you pretty much spend more time trying to work out the topics of your posts. And you can sit down for, if you, if you can't spare enough time to do it for the month, do it for the week and just sit down for an hour or so and just work out exactly what you're going to say and find the pictures you're going to use or video. <coughs> um, you but need also, to be, Nick, yeah. but also Nick, you mm -hmm. want to just flick, want to flick back. Okay. But this one is also just look up and just anything around um, your um, business and what, what day it is, um, you know, where it's, Oh, historic or, or, or well, whatever. Or, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So, so you just look up those and that'll give you an idea of the topic and then you can... You can like today is... That. What today was? Um, yeah, anyway. Motivation yeah. Monday. Anyway, was, yeah, well, there you go. So, so you could have done a post around that in your business with Motivation Monday. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, thank you, Dad. <laughs> All right, next. You need to be active on the platforms that your ideal clients are on. So we talked about um, avatars the other week. Um, not the platforms that you like. So if you're not quite, um, not, not quite sure what platforms you're supposed to be on because it, um, to find out where your clients are, look at your competitors and see where they're posting and see how their engagement is. Um, most businesses fail with Facebook um, paid advertising because they don't do a series of um, adverts because they forget the buyer's journey because the first step is awareness, second is consideration, and then three, third time is decision, especially if it's a high-end product that's going to cost them more than, what, $10. Um, so when doing a Facebook ad um, campaign, it needs to be a series of adverts that take your prospect customer through their journey. Um, very few people buy on the first look. Um, according to the stats on Hootsuite, the average click-through rate across all industries is 0.9%. And note, people on Facebook are not there to be sold to. If people want something or the answer to something, what do they do? They Google it. Not balancing out your, um, at your posts and sprinkling some fun and feel good posts among your business posts. So you could have a video that is all educational. You could have a, a fun one that's just quick get their attention doesn't have to be serious and then you can have one that's just you know the quote of the day that's um relates to i don't know um national holiday or something or a fun holiday like donut day or something <laughs> if it relates to your business all right um need to always comment, like, and share on your um, comments that are made on your social um, profiles because it will build the connection between you and your potential customer or customer. All right. So people boost a post rather than doing an advert. Also, um, they 
don't set up as many ad, um, ad accounts as possible when they get started. Oh. <laughs> uh, as a targeted advert will get 300% more reach and be shown to more target audience. And if you don't set up as many ad accounts, you're more likelihood to end up in Facebook jail and stay there because they won't allow you to add any more ad accounts to your business account. I will show you that in a um, second after the next two slides. Um, a lot of people do a social media post on Facebook or LinkedIn um, that doesn't link to their website to create uh, traffic and Google off. The best way to do this is to copy the web page or the URL to your blog post and then paste it in to Facebook's What's On Your Mind or on LinkedIn um, when you're creating a post it's what do you want to talk about. And then you've got to add a catchy, witty or a comment that creates curiosity. And to get relevant tags, I have um, a website that tells you the hashtags do's and don't or do's and it links to the don'ts that lists the places to go to get hashtags for Twitter and um, Instagram and I'm pretty sure there's like Facebook. And all right, and two reasons to do this is if you create it on, um, you create a blog article, it helps your um, website SEO as well as links your um, social media profiles for Google indexing. Um, two, when people click the post to read more, they end up on your website and the advantage of this is once they're on your website, there's no distractions like if you're on Facebook and you have things that pop up that people want to buy because of their um, history. Um, so you want them on your website um, so you can build trust, rapport and convert them into customers. Now I'll show you a few things on my, where is it? Is it? And, all right. So to do Facebook advertising, you need to um, set up a face, Facebook business um, account. So if you type in business in front of the, um, where the www dot is where um, in front of facebook.com, you'll go either to there if you already have an account or it'll tell you to set up one. And then you can link it to existing um, business pages or your profile. Well, your personal profile will be linked to it because you set it up with that. All right, um, these are some ad accounts that we have. And, but uh, to create, to do a physical ad, you just go to Ad Manager. It's nice and simple. But if anyone wants any help with that, just contact us because that, that's kind of its own series of videos. <laughs> All right, and then I'm going to show you how to do. All right, so I'm going to do here. And I'm ready. So copy a link to a web post that I've done. Start a post. Paste it in. And then it's previewed a picture, but I can use a different picture if I wanted to. But then I can type in whatever I want. And on LinkedIn, it automatically shortens the URL, so you don't have to worry about it. If you try to shorten it with a URL program and then put it in LinkedIn, it'll actually think it's spam. So don't do it. And I say something. Two more. Oh, um, so 
not everyone knows how to use um, hashtags well. Um, take a moment to clear up some confusion with our guide to doing hashtags right. And then I linked it to my thing. And then use two. And I've got two hashtags. Um, I'm not quite, can't quite remember if it's how many hashtags are perfect on LinkedIn. I think it's, anyway, I, um, I, I, I'll give you the URL to the, what question. Let me have, just, let me just have a look because I have it open. LinkedIn. So you can have a maximum of five hashtags on LinkedIn for it to make it work perfectly. You have the best engagement then. But if you can't think of five, just better to have at least two good ones. All right, so then you've got that and then you can go post. And you see they automatically does a shortened link. All right, and then to do the same thing, you could do the same thing on your Facebook. And so but on Facebook, it's better to have maximum of three hashtags. Personally, two is probably better for better engagement. And here you can add your own picture if you have one that you want to use instead. And remove your old one. And just use you now it's gonna work. <laughs> All right. You can have multiples if you want to make it very exciting. Otherwise, you can just use the, leave the URL in there and put your own picture or video. All right. And then I'm gonna go back to here. This one. Oops. Sorry, technical difference difficulties. All right. Another mistake is having too many social media profiles to keep up to date. So just get really good at one and what then open another one that deals with your ideal customer. And I personally, I think if you have more than like, well, I find if I have more than three, then I'm a bit, a bit it's a bit thin. Otherwise, um, but five is definitely the maximum. I definitely wouldn't want to have more than that. Um, they all need to be treated differently um certain like image dimensions um which you can find out if you just type in in google facebook image dimension posts or something like that um and then number of tags which on my this um website here is the six common mistakes of using hashtags which is links to the do's that what you should do about your hashtags, which um, I'll open it up right now. All right, so this one is doing yeah, doing your hashtags right. And at the beginning, I have where you can research the hashtags that are working really well on Twitter, the ones that work on 
Twitter and Facebook and the ones that work on Instagram. And typically the ones that work on Facebook usually work on um, LinkedIn. And then I have on how many hashtags that you can um, that you should use to have the best engagement on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and about how to do them on YouTube. And then I have Pinterest, but I Pinterest is one I don't don't use myself, but for certain people, it would be good for them. All right, and then the next one is six common mistakes, which is very short. And then I think we're up to, oh yeah, we're up to Q and A. Does anyone have any questions? No? Sorry, I, I joined late today. Can you hear me? Yep, can you? Yeah, yeah. So where do, where am I, where are we finding this information? Is, you can, is, is this the information you're going to send to us? Um, I at the um in after this slide. Yep. I well before the end of this, I will list where you can join up to watch this whole recording. I'll put right, it okay, up cool. by yep. lunchtime today. All right. Okay. Thanks, Nikki. That's fine. Anyone got any questions about this? Yeah, Nikki, with regard to um, Instagram, mm -hmm. are you fairly, fairly uh, limited to the number of hashtags you're advocating for LinkedIn and Facebook? Yeah. Do you have any um, guidelines for Instagram? Um, on the thing, it um, um, 11 is the best. It has the best engagement com compared to all the stats I've looked at. Okay, thank you. So I typically don't exceed 11. If you can get to 11 hashtags every time, it's good. But sometimes it, it's very hard to find ones that work, you know, that uh, you make sense to your post. Yeah. Especially no, if your good. post is like two sentences or less. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but Nikki, you've got two blog articles that hang on. What was Sorry, Nikki. Yeah. Um, yeah, you've uh, well, you've done a couple of blog articles yeah, with uh, number plate. Yeah. I bought some more blankets for it. Is that yours? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's okay. I don't know what he's trying to say, but like, I'm guessing it's something to do with the two folks. Um, what I'm trying to say, can you hear me now? Yeah. What's more blank? You took some. So you know, see you in that room as well. Yes. You see, we just wrap up his um, yeah. furniture. That's right. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm looking at one today. Alrighty, and that's that thing that he needed. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's just Nick, Nick, can you mute that other background noise? Yeah, I know. <laughs> yep. Okay, so what I was saying, or trying to say before the interruptions this end, mm -hmm. is that those two. Um, Where's my camera? Well, those two articles, those two blog articles that you did mm -hmm. about hashtags and the best and the, the do's and the don'ts and all that sort of stuff. Yep. So, well, those links you've got them in in this presentation because I did jump off, I to go into the thing. Over. So, that's right, didn't you? You yes. showed those. Yeah, I showed the two okay. things, and then when okay, I upload because... this video, I'll make sure that those two URL um, are in the description box. Okay, cool. Thank you. I'll just I'll I'll just mute again. But um, have you got any questions, Ian? Not at this stage, Dave. I'm just soaking it all. Like, yeah, just a little bit of practice every day, mate. And uh, I'll 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 you you you'll get there. But just don't try and go too broad. Just focus on. Um, 
just one thing at a time and then when you sort of can handle that then then go and do the next next um, one you know what I mean you know yeah. you don't then, start too many social otherwise you yeah. once. <laughs> no, because you won't apart from you won't have time you'll get overwhelmed and you'll go ah and then you'll find a busy week and nothing will happen you know yeah, yeah that's happening <laughs> That's good advice, thank you. Just start small and get solid before you expand. Mm. But also focus on the um, social media platform that your main audience is at. The front loader? You know, and that's... Yeah, it's Fred and front loader. Don't need anything big, it's just for my daughter and I. Oh, any more questions? I have a question. Yeah. Yes, I have a question. Um, just wondering if you send people from Facebook to your website, will you get less engagement because Facebook doesn't like to send people generally off Facebook? So you're better to create an event within Facebook and then within that maybe send them off the website? What, what do you, what's your strategy around that? Uh, well, it depends on what the purpose of it was. If you're actually trying to point them to the website just to show them, oh, article or something you don't really have a choice you can't really do anything on facebook that way unless you want to do a facebook post that's humongous um but if you just want to get like contact details and stuff then you can do posts and advertising and stuff that just clicks say details instead of sending them to a landing page of yours so if you're so running if it's an event, event. But you can do so a Facebook a event and then you can have yep. a link on it, but they still, if it goes off, it doesn't really matter because you made a Facebook event with them. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. It's okay. Anything else? Anyone? I think it's pretty well covered. Okay. I will. Oh, well, the other one, Nikki, is doing videos um, instead of sharing the video from um, YouTube or something, is embed the video. You, and want, you mean you upload it? You have to up. Yeah, okay. So when you don't, like on Facebook, um, in Facebook, in um, that you have to upload it because otherwise, if you insert it like a URL, you'll have a, a tiny little preview thing there and then. A description of it it's not clickable they can't watch it just on Facebook but if you upload it to Facebook then you can um, they can watch it straight away same with um, LinkedIn um, when you're doing um, Instagram you have to have a different dimensions again it's where your phone is up like this upright so it, when you want to do something and only want to record once it's kind of a good thing if you have two cameras set up. <laughs> so you don't have to do it again. Oh, well, there is a link, Nikki, and we'll share that later as well of a plat platform that will actually turn a landscape to a portrait as well in a video. Okay. So I've got that link. I didn't tell you, but I have. Okay. Have you tested okay. it on our Instagram? Um, no. No, no, but I'll let you do that. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, Any, anybody else? All right, does everyone want to do a, a, so we do a photo of all of us to get together and then we can um, tag each other on Facebook and stuff. And it just shows that you, you know, keep trying to keep learning. All right, is, all right, everyone ready? Yes. One, two, three. <laughs> all right. All Nikki, right, let's, yes. Me. Can you just um, explain a little more about the blogs, please? Like, um, sure. I just put up a quick question there. Um, you go in the back end of your website to put a blog up and then can you then link it to Facebook and Instagram or how do you do the blog? Yeah, um, the back end of the website? yeah, in the back end of your website, what do you have like WordPress or something? Yeah, 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 
it's nice, nice and easy. We just is got it post yes. and credit yeah. post. <laughs> And then when you have it set up, yeah, you just copy the URL and paste it in. Um, also, on um, if you're on LinkedIn, you can actually um, put a Facebook you put your whole a whole blog article on LinkedIn. Right. Yeah. No, I don't do LinkedIn. Um, uh, just, yeah. On I, yeah. Yeah. Just copy Facebook and paste it in, them. and then yeah, you just right. do a little quick grab their attention. Um, yeah. But for Facebook and Instagram, so, if your so URL well, is too long, I would shorten it, which I can add that to the bottom of my video to, of this video. Um, and, it will... and, so to, and Nick, Nick, yep. to answer Tanya's question, you, you, you go in the back end of the website to create the post, but when the post is published, you yep. use the URL that everyone else sees, and yep. that's what you copy and paste into yeah, um, don't, yeah, don't copy the okay. draft one. <laughs> no, no, right. No. The one's okay. public. Yes. You can copy that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any page, any URL, it'll drag it in. Okay. Right. Oh, so you have to do it manually. You can't set it up so that it goes instantly to Facebook or Instagram. Well, that's um, just. A no. That's an entirely different I think there's there's a, a, there was a there was a plugin at one time, but. Last time I used it, it didn't work. Jetpack should but, use it to do it. But if you want, uh, if you want to do lots of posts at one time and have scheduled um, posts on your Facebook and your Instagram, you can actually set that up on um, like a social media post um, site like um, Zoho. That's one I use. Mm -hmm. So you can have it set up so it automatically sends off like five minutes after it um, publishes on your website. On the corner of success and uh, achievement drive. So if you just go down the road from achievement drive. Yeah, that just caught my attention when you mentioned that um, doing a blog, which yeah. I haven't done any. <laughs> it um, by doing that frequently, you get better rankings in your Google. Yeah, um, I would start. I, I started off doing them twice a week. Um, yeah. Then after two months of doing that, I could make it to once a week, then another month, and I did it, um, you know, I just kept spreading it out further and further. So now I only do one every two weeks. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then after a while, I'll just go to do it just once a month, but I won't make it any less than that once a month. You know. okay. right. just need so to get a bit of content quickly. Yeah. If I aim for once a week, I'd be winning. <laughs> and yeah, and you know, I would no, I wouldn't do any less than like three hundred words. Right. Okay. Thank you. It's okay. All right. So let's go. All right. So we're going to do about the bonuses, but talking about feedback first. We thank you for participating. Um, if you gain something of value, please give us your feedback. Um, and you can do that with share feedback at our Find Net Solutions Facebook page. And the URL is here as well as the QR code to just scan it with your phone and it'll pop up. And all right, so we're going to talk about our first bonus, about the free, uh, free for life landing pages. And that's no credit card required. It's a limited offer. And here's the URL too, finetsolutions.com slash groove pages. All right, and please note these are best suited for lead generation and paid advertising. You really struggle to rank them on um, Google. All right, second bonus tool is um, the free sales power course. Um, sales training videos on building relationships, prospecting, follow up, follow up, that, that, sorry, <clears throat> following up, handling objections, negotiating, and closing. And then we've got the URL here too, finetsolutions.com slash sales training. Um, our gift 
is a free online discovery session to help you work out where to start or to do next. And the URL is here, financeolutions.com slash strategy session. Um, plus our full program of strategy sessions is normally 397 US dollars. And today it's only 97. Um, what you'll get is things like mapping out what platforms and systems to use and an analyzing strategies to consider and consider which will give the best value and results for you. Um, also considering the best return on investment and how much leverage and control you have. And you can message us at m.me slash easy online business solutions. Plus um, our other tips and tools um, are on my website. So easyonlinebizsolutions.com slash tips and tools. Um, plus you're invited to join our um, exclusive Easy Biz Mentoring Facebook group, which is where I will post this video and all the links that I um, mentioned today. Um, so if you've got any value today, please like and follow Finance Solutions and Easy Online Biz Solutions. Facebook pages. Yes, Dad. You waving at me? Ooh. No, I'm just saying, well, that's it, thanks, because you're about to get dropped off anyway, I think. So I'll have, I'll put this video up before lunchtime today. So for anyone who came in late, they can Okay, and watch next it. week is? Um... I don't know what was it this week. Fourteen. Stri was striking? 14. No. Fourteen tips for a recession for your business. All right, 14 ways to help business cope with a recession. So it'll be one tap next week. So I'll see everyone then.